What is up, YouTube? M40 here, Glasgow, Yu-Gi-Oh, Saint Maddox, and House of Champions. Are going to be giving you guys an awesome feature match with Ed Deception versus Tristan Bridges. So, special shout out to Skylar Hennessy. You guys are going to be watching a fantastic two out of three Yu-Gi-Oh duel for round two, sponsored by PPG Games and Trollandtoad.com. And also shout outs to Team Seattle's finest for Tristan. Shout out to, I don't think, Ed going first. Yeah, Tristan is going first and playing a brilliant fusion. And, oh, it's Seraph Knight and Serpent Centigrave, so probably Cosmo? For sure, Cosmo. Let me just game with Andrew and Bill. <laughs> Some commentary from Billy. <laughs> oh, no, Blue Eyes! Oh, he's up. The brilliant future that is so good. I played that deck. Like, I tried it once, and like I did that combo where you open Brute Breaker. It's so summon strong. sage it's search so mail. It is really strong. It's so fun as well. Like you can just like do so many different things and combos. It's, it's pretty legit. I mean, as long as his opponent isn't playing Ophion, you'll be okay. And we've summoned Stardust Charge Warrior with this play. Yep. And still have a normal yeah, like, summon. Trade in. Stardust Charge Warrior is such a stupid card. And with that Galaxy Serpent, he can make an 8 here, too. Yep. Still have our normal. He can make Crystal with this, right? I believe so. Yeah, I think he can. And that's what he goes oh. into. Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Poor Ed already staring down Crystal Wing. Uh, but that's all. That's not the worst. True. And Desire, so Ed is gonna start out with seven. Damn, Ed. The only question is, what did he banish playing that straight off the bat? Uh, well, most everything in his combo deck is three of, if I recall. We've got Stick. Is there a chair? I have to imagine if he normal summon Stick, chair is there. And uh, Crystal Wing, uh, is it any on the field? No, it's whenever another monster's effect is activated, period. So it doesn't have to be on the field. I assume he's trying to force the negation or get the Veiler out of the way. Yeah, and Veiler is indeed out of the way. And there is the chair. So he might already have two chairs. He could. That'd be pretty stupid if he did. Yeah, but I don't think he does. Yeah. I believe. <laughs> Ed Deception. Oh, we got a field spell. Yep, here we go. Ritual Sanctuary. It's such a dumb card. Any spell card and add a light ritual monster or one ritual spell card from your deck <laughs> to your hand. Oh boy. You can shuffle any number of spell cards from your graveyard into the deck. And he's got preparation of rights too. Oh man, and he pitched a ritual sentry. Oh, he didn't uh, pitch a ritual spell though. No, but. And here goes Dawn of the Herald. Menton has an effect, right? Yeah. Oh, he can, it has a graveyard effect too, so he yep. can use that. That's crazy. And he's uh, he hasn't used Crystal's Negate yet, has he? He used uh, Veiler. He has not, but I mean, we have... can Crystal Negate honest. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I believe so. Oh, but Harold can negate Crystal. Okay, so as yeah, a but, but what do you care? You, you, I have it. And he's summoning Mavilus. This card did go up a bit ago. Mavilus. So the level four win. There's a reason for this, right? Besides just overlaying with Stick Chair. Mm hmm. Chidori or some shit. No, I, I knew there was a spe oh. there's a specific reason for it being a wing beast, like in the decks that it's played in. Besides fucking uh, harpies, phantasmal dragon, probably. I don't think it, it. I don't think it's because of overlays, but I could be wrong. Yeah, 
And we got Deltaros that's going to get the added effect of pop one, draw one. Pop one, can't respond. That's fair. Yeah, he can't <laughs> even respond with his crystal. Wow, Deltaros next level. Ed versus 2 OP. Ed, Ed is in a fantastic position at the moment. He may. I don't, uh, know, if, don't know if I'd hit that brilliant fusion. Why? Uh, it means he can't special some burning abyss from his hand. Next level. You never know. Oh. Uh, and he's going to search another chair anyway. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> can he OTK? No, he cannot. No, but I mean, this is such a strong board presence. The Herald in attack position shouldn't be a too much honest. worry. Yeah, it shouldn't be too much worry against Blue Eyes anyway. Yeah. What a crazy comeback from, like, the turn one, uh, it was just a crystal, but the crystal's still very strong. And Ed was just, a, and a Veiler, a search to Veiler. So, like, a double negation easily just pushed through, and Ed now has one, two, three... Uh, three very good monsters on field, one that negates, one that pops, and five cards in hand. One that doesn't have a restriction on negation, I'll have you know. I feel like his first turn was like, Crystal was like, it should have just been more. I mean, I don't know that, like, I've seen Brilliant Fusion Blue Eyes and they open a little bit better than that. Neither player can send cards point. from the deck to the graveyard, so this actually has a huge purpose against Blue Eyes. Yeah, Diamond is fucking a problem here. Wow, I haven't considered Diamond against Blue Eyes. That's really cool. Well, I mean, if all five cards in Ed's hand are actually just fairies for him to negate with, like, yep, the scoop there. Why is Diamond good against Blue Eyes? You, you cannot send de cards from the deck to the graveyard. Right. But, I mean, you can still, like, Ooh, Dark Matter. There's still a lot of cards you can summon. Yeah, there's still like, a lot you can do. It just actually has a purpose, is yeah. what's cool about it. Holy shit, I just saw the five-headed draw. <laughs> oh yeah, I posted that. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh man, Ed, having a strong game one here. But we like to take this time to thank our sponsor, Proplay Games and Trollandtoad.com. Without them, you would not have had such a great stream tonight. Um, I don't know, anything else we need to add before we go into game two here? I like turtles. <laughs> that here's just gone. <laughs> oh my gosh, they, they did the... Okay, I'm gonna post this on the same one. I, I am fan of Ed. Go Ed. Nettie, are you still on that one post? One post? The, the five-headed dragon post. Uh, it should do. Wait, hang on. No, I'm, I, I'm, I'm posting his oh, final I'm form on the same post. Okay. The duel has ended. Lol, he took too long to side. Uh, this has happened before where they're locked out from siding. No, oh, hold on. We have their deck list, so they can just repair and do their thing. Yeah, it... it it did say that uh, both people were ready, and then it just, yeah. Yeah, in cases like this, thank God we didn't require both deck lists for this. So we can ensure that uh, everything is fair. Yeah, we can't exactly do it for the entire tournament, but for our future matches, we like to ensure. Alright. Are they back in their game and doing their thing? Yeah, he's already surrendered and they're side decking and we're gonna see if we can get the side decking through now. What was his name I was supposed to look for again? Day cough. Oh yeah. Cough cough. It's daytime. Day cough is ready. 
Is that like a New Day reference or something? Knowing Ed, probably. Oops, I sent a dual request in. It's awkward. I'm Ed's second biggest fan. Damn. Look at you. And we have our game. It is on the way. It's a new day. Yes, it is. Luckily, I've learned how to video edit a little so you won't have to wait through that on YouTube. So we got alternative. Turn one. Whoa. And he's going ahead and summoning it. So uh, I'm guessing he's making spirit. And there is Sage gonna grab Baylor. Let the fun begin, Fred. So he's gotta get past an anti-spell too. Ooh. That's not as rough on his deck because like it's unlikely he's gonna get OTK'd here. So like um and yeah, there's Mandy. He's gotta be able to put up a board presence and have everything ready for next turn. So it's not super painful. I don't know what board presence can he put if you can't bridge or something. Well, there's already the Manju and he could have back row. But it's unlikely he plays back row since uh, his combo. But he's going to have, like, he's able to activate everything next turn and it's just unlikely he's going to get pushed through on. I don't think Ed played back row in his list. Oh, you shouldn't say that, Robbie. Uh, I mean, he could have went end phase, get Azure Eyes, summon Blue Eyes, and potentially, like, go off from there. Yeah, the that game. probably would have been the strongest line of play. But we've got attacks. Ugh, that anti spell, though. Gross. <laughs> the one card that should have been limited. Wasn't. Yeah, that no, one should have. I mean, it's like. That was it? I don't know. I feel like if you any spell, like you need to be able to follow up. Whereas all that did, like, I mean, he's delayed for a turn. Well, potentially delayed for two turns now, actually, because pre prep has to resolve, get his thing, and then he has to set the thing. Wait. Yeah, anti spell is really, really uh, damaging here. Like, cool. Well, pre prep and desires. He drew all combo pieces without any rituals, is what it looks like. Oh. Gonna have to wait another turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, stick chair might be able to pop off actually, and then that'll Ooh. be able to. Oh, yes, it does. I'm surprised he did not Valor this. Like, you'll take the maxi challenge on this, and Valor can't stop the Delta Rose. Yeah. I mean, if he has a set ritual spell, he could potentially try game him. I don't yeah. know. Actually, I, I don't. Uh, this is tough. I don't I, think he can kill him through. I think he should have Valored the Scepter. Yeah. Like, you, you, you're fine scepter. taking the maxi challenge because, like, okay, you're gonna clear the field, and, like, okay, now he's under his own anti-spell. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, here comes Elteris. <laughs> oh, this can't be popped, though, right? Those are eyes can't be popped. Oh, uh, I guess he's doing it preemptively, yeah. Uh... He's just trying to survive here. So he's gonna pop the anti spell then. He like with Max E, like it's kinda cool because they just both like break even. Yeah, and he draws another here. He's obviously winning actually. Two, four, six to his two, four, six, eight, nine, ten cards. Yeah. And he's gonna keep going. He may have game. I don't know if he's gonna be able to out this is your eyes. I'd like to see a quick 2-0 here. It'd be really cool to see mm -hmm. Ed wrap it up. 
Like he can't honest and attack through it, so like what's what how does he get through it? Yeah, you can attack over it. Oh you can? It's only yeah, it protects itself from being Oh just card effects. effects. Okay. Yeah. But you can still punch it. Yeah, there's honest. So he figures the key negates will be better than uh, anything he can do. Uh, honestly, I feel like hmm, it's a tough one. I mean, he had the he the ritual spell in hand, so like I was thinking he could have just kept his opponent locked under his own emptiness uh, at his spell because now he's gonna be able to use gospel and stuff like that, revival, whatever it's called. So Azura Eyes is protected until the end of this turn, correct? Uh, yeah. So, this blue eye, he can just summon the blue eyes for free here. Yeah. Uh, no, he doesn't have a blue eyes vanilla in his grave. Oh, I thought, oh, never mind, my bad. It was, uh, Or maybe it does, and he just chose to not use the effect to play around Herald or something like that. It's just alternative. Yeah. No, it is yeah. just alternative. That's cool that we can check. But he's got Gospel. Gospel of stupidity. I mean, he has to negate that because then he just uses alternative to pop Herald, force it out. Oh, he's gonna let it go through, okay. Now he set these two D's turn in case of another anti spell, or could it be traps? Uh, no, they've been set from the start, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, he set four. My bad. He's gonna pop Delta Rose instead, okay. That's really odd. Yeah, he's gonna negate that. Oh, because it is an alternative once per turn. So that's the point of letting it go through to negate it. Uh... Yeah, but Herald negates and destroys, doesn't it? Yeah. But the dragons can't be destroyed because of Azura Eyes, okay. I thought it was dragons you currently control. Yeah. Oh. It's a, he used gospel to protect it, that's why. Oh. Uh, okay. Alternative isn't a hard one to return, so he could potentially summon another one out of his hand. He's gonna search out blue eyes here, potentially ditch it with Traden. I'm sure there's a Traden in those in that hand somewhere. Has to be. What? Okay. Maybe he's scared of it getting negated. That'd be a minus one, right? Um. Maybe? Ooh, Chain no, no, oh, he spell. didn't hold day, so he couldn't flip anti spell. Man, these people come into death row not knowing how to hold A. <laughs> a. Remember, kids, hold A. Give me an A in the chat, boys. It's kind of sad. Like, as many people have used this, they they just don't understand uh, auto chain. The thing is, it literally makes no difference. It doesn't matter at all. Because like, Deltros can just pop it. He veils it, and then he just like negates it. Actually, it's better that he used it in the main phase because it means that he could negate it with the uh, veiler. But what does that actually do? Because he's he's forced out in the gate with Herald. So does he have something else to stop, to get rid of the Herald on his turn? I have something. Like what he should have done was standby phase new Spirit to summon Moonlight. Moonlight bounced Herald. That would get negated. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he would flip anti spell. Well, no, Annie's spell would be at the beginning of that chain. But we got instant yeah. fusion. And then build the Delta Ross. Yeah. We got Maxi, and we probably negate Maxi, right? No, he's used his negate, didn't he? No, you can Herald negate not once per turn. I yeah. forgot, it's not once per turn. <laughs> Never mind. It's a fair card, remember? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, he's probably lost. <laughs> Fuck.
I'm still on oh, top. Okay. Hashtag giraffe too strong. And then get a draw and pop, right? Do you like the giraffe uh, donation message? Or Boros. Yeah, he's gonna probably bounce uh, one of these. Yeah, this deck's pretty crazy. <laughs> Stick chair usually plays Ouroboros. No, I know, but like with the side <laughs> range, it seems like so consistent and good. Like, down. He just needs a synchro, and he can make a uh, Sophia. <laughs> oh man! Uh, all right. <laughs> add in, a, add in a, another fusion, and uh, he can be. Uh... Oh man! <laughs> Austin, just see Sophia come down. What? Uh, let's see oh no, you can use your opponent's synchros. Everything was there actually after the instant fusion. Oh. <laughs> I forgot. Sophia just needs it all on the field. You can use opponents. Oh wow, that's pretty funny. I haven't actually read it. Is that is that field spell like generic or is it actually part of some archetype or something? Ritual sanctuary. It's ritual yeah. specific. Yeah. But it's a generic ritual with light card then. Yeah, yeah, for yes. light light rituals only. Well, that's all she wrote, boys. <laughs> yeah, that card's super good. I can't help Necroz. This deck is pretty legit. Yeah, it's definitely in the top ten easily. Yeah. Cyber Angels. You think they're what? Second best. Yeah. Just because, like, being able to use Herald like that and still have, like, access to all those fairies is so good right now. So, a deception moves on the winner 2-0, when we didn't think, uh, we thought it would be a game 3.